This perfectly fried shrimp is actually not shrimp at all. And I know you already know that because of the title. It is cashews. These are really big cashews, AKA jumbo cashews, the W180 cashews. That means around 180 cashews per pound, but that is dry, not hydrated. Traditionally, popcorn shrimp are around 60 to 90 shrimp per pound. So I wanted to hydrate these cashews and see how close we could get on weight. So first I'm gonna make a shrimp like broth. We're going to keep this really simple. We're going to start off with a handful of these jumbo cashews. I wouldn't recommend this particular one that I bought, so I'm not gonna link that one. Just Google W180 cashews and that will be the size that I used. I'm going to pick out the biggest pieces I can find here, toss them into a strainer, rinse them off because they were a little powdery, and now let's start adding everything for the broth. So first we're gonna start off with a squeeze of olive oil, enough to completely cover these, a big pinch of salt, a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, a small square of kombu, kelp, or seaweed, anything kind of sea-ish like flavor along with a half tablespoon of sugar, a half teaspoon of beetroot powder, and about two cups of water, just enough to cover these completely. Now I'm just gonna throw the lid on, give them a quick shake, and then toss them in the refrigerator overnight. Now, since we're making a fried shrimp, I also wanted to make a sauce for them. Kind of like a firecracker shrimp or like a bang bang shrimp, which now is a perfect time to bang bang that subscribe button. I'm sorry I had to do it. So we just need a quarter cup of your favorite chili garlic sauce. This one has been my favorite lately. About a tablespoon of lemon juice, three tablespoons of agave, and a tablespoon of vegan mayo. Give that a quick mix, give it a taste, make sure all of the sweetness, sourness, and spiciness is there exactly how you want it. You can adjust this as you go. Now we're gonna throw a lid on it, toss it into the fridge for just a little bit, which is plenty of time for today's sponsor. I've been working on this YouTube channel since late 2016, and I wouldn't have been able to do it on my own. I have Monica as my taste tester and amazing support, my manager Colin, which is completely indispensable, and TubeBuddy. If you are a YouTube creator now or thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you're gonna wanna check out TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is loaded with tools to help you take your YouTube channel to the next level. Like TubeBuddy's new A-B testing tool, where you can test more variables and get more data than any other tool on the market. See, with YouTube, you could spend weeks or days filming and editing a video, and without the perfect thumbnail and title, nobody might even see it. With TubeBuddy's A-B testing tool, you can test multiple thumbnails, titles, descriptions, tags, and more to see what best works for your video and what's gonna get the most views. The more data you have, the better choices you can make, and the more likely you are to get a video that could be seen by millions. With TubeBuddy's A-B testing tool, you can test and get data like click-through rate, engagement, traffic source, and, and more. I honestly don't know what I would do without it. I've been able to get some of my highest viewed videos because of choices I made using data I had from TubeBuddy. So gang, if you're looking to level up your YouTube channel, level up your thumbnail and title game, it's time for you to get TubeBuddy's new A-B testing tool. Click the link in the description below for a free seven-day trial. You will not regret it. TubeBuddy, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for being such an incredible tool for YouTube creators. Now we're back. Our shrimp has hydrated overnight and have gotten a little bit bigger. So I wanted to weigh them and see how close they were to popcorn sized shrimp. First, we just need to drain them, saving the liquid. You could toss out that kelp. And then I'm gonna add a, a handful of them, about 30 of them to a scale. So after weighing them, it looks like they are about 30 in a quarter pound or you know around 120 in a pound. So still on a little bit smaller side, but I still think they're gonna be perfect for this shrimp recipe. So now let's start making our firecracker shrimp. This is going to be pretty easy. And in a large bowl, I'm gonna to mix together two thirds cup of flour, a third cup of cornstarch, tablespoon garlic powder, a teaspoon onion powder, a teaspoon white pepper, and a big pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna give that a mix and then I'm gonna take some of the water just by hand and drizzle it in just to kind of form little like chunky floury bits that will hopefully stick to the cashews and give them a bit of texture. Now I'm just gonna to toss about half the cashews into the flour mixture, give them a toss around and then gently pull them out, I'm gonna set them aside on a wire rack. Now in a large high wall pot, I'm using a Dutch oven. I'm gonna add enough oil to fill the bottom of the pot, leaving enough room to be very safe. Never overfill your oil. And this is my first time frying hydrated cashews. So I just wanna test a few to see how they kind of come out. Now we're gonna bring this temperature up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, slowly toss in the shrimp cashews and fry them until they're golden brown. Now for the first test, I again, I just wanted to see how they fried up, if they would brown up really nice, if you know if there wasn't any sort of like popping or cracking from the liquid within the shrimp.
shrimp, and I just wanted to make sure that they also didn't completely dry out. I wanted these to fry pretty fast. Now for the second batch, I'm gonna make a little adjustment. I feel like there needs to be a bit more flour there. So I'm gonna toss the floured cashews back into the brine mixture just for a second, and then back into the flour to give it like a thicker flour coating on the outside. I think that's gonna be quite a bit better. This time the oil heated up to about 400 degrees. I'm gonna toss these in, fry them until they're golden brown. Now these look awesome. I have them all out on a wire rack. I'm gonna give them another big pinch of salt across the top. And just by themselves, they look like popcorn shrimp to me. I'm pretty happy with them. I'm gonna toss them into a large bowl, add in our sweet chili sauce, give them a toss to mix, throw them into a bowl, top them with some green onion or chives or whatever you have. And now let's see what Monica has to say. What do you think we've made today? Uh, some bang bang something. I know, bang bang shrimp, right? Yeah, okay. bang bang shrimp. This looks awesome, so I will say it's not as soft as shrimp. Like right okay. off the bat, it's not as soft as shrimp. So, so like a bang bang crunch? Yeah, there's a bang bang. <laughs> you like to use the word crunchy, so I'm just curious what you think about the flavor. Check, here we go. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, that's really good. <laughs> right? Bang bang shrimp. Yeah. Like so, a firm shrimp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'll let you. It's interesting because I know, you know, you can tell it's a fried edge here, like outside, but mm -hmm. crunchy fried like outer area. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's a nice crisp on crisp. the outside. There right. is a nice crunch. It gives the um, intention that it's a larger crisp, larger yeah. because it's a cashew. Mm -hmm. But like the shrimp portion of it, mm -hmm. like the meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. What do you think? It's good. It's a firm texture. Super firm. Mm hmm But it's not crunchy. Mm -mm. There's a chew to mm -hmm. it. It's not like rubbery or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's just kind of like a firm texture. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice chew to it. The flavor is really good. It, it tastes like anything that you would flavor it with. Yeah, it really does. Like there mm -hmm. really is like a bang bang shrimp mm -hmm. impression. This flavor's really good. It's a good snack, to yeah. be honest, like by itself. And then maybe if there was like, maybe that's got a good sauce, but maybe if you had a dipping sauce too. You want some extra? I mean, sure. <laughs> but I could see you doing this, you know, like taking it, dipping it, eating mm -hmm. it, even with your fingers. Like I yeah. could see it being like almost like a, a snack, like pick it up, dip it, eat it. I mean, all in all, mm -hmm. I, like I'm giving it a 10. I think it's very 10 worthy. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give it a, I'll give it, I'll be straight up. I'll give it an eight. It, it would be a 10 if the cashews stayed softer, mm -hmm. but they did firm up a bit. Yeah, I'll go with an eight. That's the, maybe even a nine. Yeah. That's the only reason. They're just firmer than a piece of shrimp. The taste and flavor and all oh, that is like really spot on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. Like I'm really happy, like really happy about these. I mean, I could actually put these on like a, on a sandwich. I think they'd be good on uh -huh. a sandwich. I think so too. They might be nice in a salad too. Mm, mm -hmm. But they are tasty. Mm -hmm. Like super tasty. Way better than just a plain cashew. Yeah. Like you can also, you know, get your fork in it where like just a regular cashew, I don't think you could. Yeah, you couldn't fork a cashew. So it's definitely soft enough to fork. Mm -hmm. Really good. Love it. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. <laughs> well, that's, that's lunch. That's okay. like our snack. That's it.